Hi, my name is Nate, and today we're going to be talking about uh, tax incidents in intermediate microeconomics. So, in the intro course, you talked about tax incidents, but it was never done in functional form. And this is a very important theoretical question that motivates a lot of what they'll ask you early in the course. So, to begin, we know that in equilibrium, demand equals supply, and both of them are a function of the price. And usually when we're talking about equilibrium, supply, and demand, they'll denote that by putting a star next to the S or, or D. So we also know that prices are a function of tax. When you vary the amount of a tax, it's going to change the price in the market. But the important distinction here is that the price for a consumer is what they pay to get a good, but the price for the supplier is the amount that they receive from the, from the sale. So there's going to be a big distinction between a tax that's on a consumer versus a tax on a producer. For a consumer, when, there's a, when a tax is imposed, their demand function is going to become this, because the price depends on the amount of tax, and because the tax is levied on the consumer, they have to pay it. So that adds to the price. For the producer, since they're receiving less money when the tax is levied on them, their new uh, supply function is going to have the tax subtracted from their supply. So this um, creates an interesting thing when we uh, find equilibrium with the tax. Um, if it's levied on the consumer, it's going to, as we, as we showed before, it's going to add to their demand function, but the supplier will, re will remain unchanged if it's a tax levied on the consumer. And the reverse is going to be true when it's levied on the uh, supplier the tax is going to be subtracted. And you can also take the derivatives of these functions to find elasticities based on the new tax, but we can save that for a later video.